Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Thank you. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 59, The Advent of Our King. The advent of our King, our thoughts must now implore. Then let us meet Him on the road with songs of holy joy. The co-eternal Son, a maiden's offspring see. A servant's form Christ put us on to set his people free. In glory from his throne again will Christ descend and summon all who his own a joys that never end. Our joyful praise us sing to Christ has set us free. Like tribune to the Father bring an Holy Ghost to thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through to my, my fault, fault, through, through my fault, fault through, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Mary, Virgin, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my you, brothers, my and, brothers sisters, and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the Lord, to the Lord our, God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O 
Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help, that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice and decide a right for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then. The wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse, set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness, and fullness of, peace of peace forever. forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice, Justice shall, shall flourish in his time, and fullness, and fullness of, of peace, peace forever. forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice, Justice shall, shall flourish in his time, time and fullness, fullness of, of peace, peace forever. forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice, Justice shall, shall flourish in his time and fullness, fullness of, of peace, peace forever. forever. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, Many prophets and kings desire to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So often I think how lucky we are to have been born at this time in history after God has taken decisive action in our behalf. Even the greatest people of the Old Testament couldn't imagine what God had planned to do for us, that one day God himself, God the Son, would take on human form and live among us. Just the thought of such a thing happened to, to the people of the Old Testament would have been considered to be sacrilegious. Uh, God is so superior, so far above us, so transcendent. Just the thought of him becoming a human being was just unimaginable. And had they had such a thought, they would have thought it was sacrilegious. And yet, we live in, in that time after God has done that, when he took on human form, not only did he take on human form and live among us, but he died the most horrible death imaginable, and then he rose from the dead, making eternal life possible for us. And most of the people of the Old Testament also had no concept of an afterlife. They thought basically when he died, it's over. The only way you can live on is through the memory of your children or grandchildren. And uh, yet we have the hope and the promise of eternal life. And not only that, but in just a few minutes, we can walk forward and receive the Son of God himself, Jesus, under the form of bread and wine in the Eucharist. Um, even the greatest people of the Old Testament, Moses, Abraham, I, Isaiah, all the prophets, couldn't imagine such a thing possible. And here we come day by day, taking it almost for granted, as if it's just, just one of the things that everybody does and, and so on. So we need to stop and realize every once in a while just how lucky we are and how privileged we are and to be so loved by God that he would do all that for us. And not only that, he's not finished with us yet. He wants to share his divine nature, his very self with us for all eternity in heaven. And all we have to do during this short lifetime is do what common sense should tell us to do anyway Love God above all things and honor and worship and obey him. And secondly, love our neighbor as ourself. So once again, as we come here today, let's reflect on the incredible mystery of our faith, how fortunate we are to be so loved by God. And let's renew our efforts to go out and share the good news of God love with others by what we say and what we do and the way we live our life. So with that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us to realize more and more just how blessed we are to be so loved by you. And realizing that, help us then to share your love with others by what we say and do. Grant us this and the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop George Lucas, and for all parishioners throughout the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in our love of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the innocent victims of the war in Gaza and Israel, for those who have lost loved ones, for those who were wounded, for those whose homes have been destroyed and have no place to go, for those who have neither food, water, medical supplies, and for those who have no hope for the future, that people throughout the world will come to their aid. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may share in Christ's risen glory, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who were buried from St. Isidore's Church this past year, and for all our loved ones who have died this past year, that they may know the joys of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving to Almighty God for his incredible love and many blessings, let us give thanks and praise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Raymond Stock. He'll be buried from my parish tomorrow. Visitation this afternoon here in church from 4 to 6 with the vigil at 6. So we pray for him and for his family. Let us also pray for um, Marie Krings. She'll be buried on Saturday from uh, St. Michael's Church in Tarnoff. For them and their families who mourn their passing, we pray to the Lord. We offer this Mass this morning for the living and deceased of the Burkle and Preister families. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, we, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue through the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you did not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life. And being rich in mercy, you constantly offer pardon and call in sinners to trust in your forgiveness alone. Never did you turn away from us, and though time and time again we have broken your covenant, you have bound the human family to yourself, through your Son, Jesus Christ, your Son and our Redeemer, with a due bond of love so tight it can never be undone. Even now you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation. And as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus and a desire to be of service to all, while they entrust themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love 
and proclaiming our joy at the salvation that comes from you, we join the heavenly hymn of countless hosts, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your churches, your people's offering, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, we were once lost and could not approach you. You loved us with the greatest of love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain for our sake to be nailed to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things to himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial Wagner, victim, who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we partake of this one bread and this one chalice, we may be gathered into the one body of Christ, who heals all division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom. Until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of the heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her spouse, St. Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend your mercy then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the blood of Christ. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you're ready there, unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 48. Beyond the moon and stars. <clears throat> Beyond the moon and stars, as deep as night, so great our hunger, Lord, to see your light. The sparrow finds her home, 
beneath your wing, so may we come to rest where angels sing. Our eyes have longed to see your loving face, to live within your courts for all our days. Beyond the moon and star, as deep as night, so great our hunger, Lord, to see your light. The sparrow finds her home beneath your wings, so may we come to rest where angels sing. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that though our, through our partaking of this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let us pray for the successful completion of our building project. Loving, Loving Father, Father, we come to you in adoration. adoration. May our hearts be open to your guidance on this journey. You have bestowed in our church community the gift, the gift to openly worship and praise, and praise your name. name. We humbly we give thanks for the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and talents. And talents. Jesus, pour out your Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As we, we gather, gather in prayer to, to build praise a faith-filled parish center generations. Most, Most sacred, sacred heart of Jesus, Jesus, pray for us. Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, pray, pray for us. us. Saint, Saint Joseph, Lord, pray, pray for us. us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Final hymn is number 51, Waiting in Silence. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope. We are your people, we long for you, Lord. God ever with us, Emmanuel. Come, Lord Jesus, Maranatha. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope. 
We are your people, we trust in your love. O Son of Justice, true Prince of Peace, come with your justice, Lord Maranatha. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope, we are your people, we seek your truth. Wisdom incarnate, teach us the way. Show us the path of life, Maranatha. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.